Yes, sir. Oh, Admiral Reese in the building. <laughs> okay, everyone. As you can see, we are now joined by Jaden Shackelford and Alex Reese. Uh, same routine. If you have a question for either player, use the raise hand function, and we'll get your questions uh, in the order they're taken. So if you have a question for either player, go ahead and use the raise hand function. First question is to Charlie Potter. Yeah, this one's for Alex. I know you're a guy that's kind of been battling through injuries, but how important is that to still be kind of an example and to, to fight through those uh, for the younger guys in the team? Uh, really, it's just a matter of this being my last year. I'm going to try to play through whatever it is that I have going on. So uh, that's really how I've always been. You know, I try to fight through uh, things that aren't going to, you know, keep me out for too long. So that's that's basically all I've dealt with this year. None, none too serious. Next up, Michael Casagrande. <clears throat> yeah, for both guys, it's uh, been three games since you guys beat LSU so badly down in Baton Rouge. What's What's been the difference, do you think, since that point uh, in those three games, uh, including Saturday's loss? Uh, we've got to emphasize playing faster. Um, we've slowed down our tempo the last few games, so we got we got to pick that back up and rebound it. That's been one of the main focus points that we've uh, talked about all week since, since really Mississippi State. Uh, and just got to rebound the ball better. I mean, yeah, like you said, we uh, we kind of got away from how we've been playing before that. So, you know, we just had to get back to how we were playing before, get pick our tempo back up. Um, you know, we got to get better rebounding the basketball. Uh, that's big, especially against LSU with them being a good uh, rebounding team. So if we just come in and emphasize things that we need to do, how we emphasize when we went to Baton Rouge, then we'll be all right. Next up, Tony, Tony Sukalis. Jaden, uh, Nate during his radio show said that you kind of sent him a text and you were disappointed after that uh, that Oklahoma game over the weekend. Can you just kind of like let us know what, what went into that and how you were feeling after that game? Right. You know, uh, I mean, there's plenty of things that went into the game and contribute to our loss. But, you know, personally, uh, I missed a you know, few laps at the rim, which, you know, kind of bothered me that whole night. But, you know, I just had to calm myself down and just take it as a learning lesson, you know, uh, talk to coach took the loss uh, on myself, you know, and just told him that I'll be better next game. I got to be better for us. And me and the guys are going to ride together and get right. Uh, next up, Drew Carter. Hey, guys, this is for both of you. Uh, just wondering, did you see what happened with LeBron and the fan at the Hawks game last night? And if anything like that has ever happened to you with a fan heckling you from the sidelines? Uh, yeah, we've seen it. Uh, I mean, I mean, yeah, of course, on the road, we get a lot of talk from fans, but you know, as we should, we just ignore it and focus on the game. But heckling is definitely a part of it. Yeah, well, that's that, a, yeah, that's about it. That's it. <laughs> All right, we'll go back to uh, we got three more in the queue here for the players. So let's start uh, with Charlie Potter. Yeah, similar to what I asked Alex, this is for both guys. Um, Herb's obviously a guy's really banged up and, and playing through a lot of stuff. Just how important is it is he to your guys' success? And what's it like to see him just battle through those injuries all year long? I mean, obviously, y'all know <clears throat> what Herb does for us. Uh, y'all know how important he is for us defensively and, uh, you know, taking care of the ball on offense and running offense for us and making all the, you know, the loose ball plays, the hard hat plays, the, all that type of stuff. So y'all know how he is for that. But, you know, just seeing him battle battle through that, it's, uh, it's inspiring. It, it makes me go, it makes me keep playing because, um, you know, mine's, none of my injuries have been that significant. So. It's it really just pushes me and pushes us to uh, play harder for him and for the team. Right, like like you said, it's it's inspirational, you know, to see somebody fight through stuff like that for the betterment of the team is it, it makes everybody want to go harder. It it makes guys, you know, like fight through other stuff just like Herb does, you know, and he's a leader of this team, so he leads and we follow, so he sets the example. So I mean, he's a fighter, he's a soldier. All right, let's go next to Michael Casagrande. Yeah, for Alex, I know uh, Coach has said you've been banged up and you kind of mentioned it. Just what what, what are you dealing with and, and how does it impact you on the court? Uh, really, it's just my knee. I know y'all have seen me take a couple falls. It's really just that this little spot on my knee that flares up when I get hit on it or fall on it or something. But 
other than that, I don't, I don't got too much going on. But when it when I do fall and it gets banged, it hurts pretty bad. But I'll be all right. It's, it's nothing too major. All right, we'll finish with Tony Sukalis again. For either of y'all, but maybe specifically for, for Reese, since you've been here longer, you guys haven't had a, a winning February since 2016. You've, ha you've had some great teams that have been on a roll. It's kind of sputtered in this month. How would you diagnose that? And then how do you stop that for, for this year? Um, really, we just got to keep playing hard. Uh, can't get complacent. I know this is the best start we've had since, since I've been here. So we can't get complacent. And uh, we just got to keep working, you know, getting in the gym every day, staying in the gym, staying in shape, all that type of stuff, just to not fall off from where we, where we uh, were in January. Uh, I mean, for what I've stated, I just say we just got to beat the statistics. We've we've done it so far this year, and I feel like this team is more than capable of having a win in February, going into March. So I feel like if me me and the guys lock in, then it's nothing we can't change. Yeah, this team's different than the years past. All right, thank you guys. We'll be joined shortly with uh, Coach Oates. Thank y'all. Thank you.